Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the Transfer Talk. I'm Dia and today we'll be uncovering all the latest transfer rumours of the day. But as usual, if you do enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like and also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any new content. And without further ado, let's get into it. The first player that we'll be talking about today is Nabil Bentleb. Palace target Bentleb is reportedly keen to skill a move away from Schalke according to Foot Mercato. Everton are reportedly joining the race. However, it's Palace who are the hottest in pursuit. We need players in this window who can come in and cause immediate impact. Now, with Bentleb, I'm not too sure. He hasn't played a single game this season. So, he's going to come to Palace in January, let's say. Where is he going to get game time? We've seen it with Roy. Um, with Roy and Cameras, for example. With Roy and even Jairo Riederwald. Um, I know he's getting game time right now, but look how long it took him. He's got his favourites in the side. So, Bentleb coming in and starting straight away is looking less likely. And can he start if he hasn't played a game all season? So, where does game, game time come from? Off the bench? Maybe so. But we've got McCarthy there. And let's say we have a full fit squad. Then where does Bentleb fit in, in that rotation? Under 23s? That's the best option. We're out of all cup competitions. So, Getting him in January is not probably the best idea. I would like to see this happen in the summer where he gets a full preseason under him. And another thing today, I was talking to a Tottenham fan about Bentleb and he said that he's a good footballer. Don't get me wrong, but the problem with him is his attitude. Now, talking about Roy Hodgson as a manager here, a person who's so strict in his tactics and his works, is he going to be happy bringing in a player who has attitude problems? He might not cause problems right now, um, he comes in, he settles in um, because he wants some game time. But in the long run, players with attitude, is that really who we want at the club? Another defensive midfielder as well. Um, is that really going to be Camarasa's replacement? Can he even replace Camarasa who hasn't played a single game this season? I don't know. I just feel like I wouldn't be too upset. I know I say, it sounds like it. Like I just don't want the transfer. I wouldn't be too upset in all honesty if it did come in. But I just feel like... It doesn't make much sense right now for various different reasons that I've listed. But let me know what you guys think. Another midfielder, would you want another midfielder in January? Uh, even though it might be for cheap. Uh, leave down your comments down below and let me know. And let's get into the next player. The next player that we'll be talking about is Kyle Walker-Peters. If you have watched yesterday's episode, you would already know that we're linked with him. He's a right back from Tottenham. However, today there's more news regarding this. According to The Sun... Tottenham are demanding a substantial fee to allow Walker Peters to move to either Palace or Southampton. However, according to the Telegraph, Walker Peters is hoping to join Palace. If you haven't already seen so, make sure to go out yesterday's episode where I talk a bit more about Walker Peters as a player. Today, I'm just going to talk about the news itself, about Tottenham demanding a substantial fee first and foremost. I'm not that worried, in all honesty. I feel like either way, Tottenham will have to drop it or make sure... Um, that is realistic in a way for Palace and Southampton due to the fact that Walker Peters is not getting game time so for him to go and stay at Tottenham would make no sense for all parties involved so not that worried about that however let's talk about what the Telegraph reported and saying how Walker Peters is keen to join Palace that's what you want first and foremost players who want to, to join your club and it makes sense uh, geographically um, due to the fact that London club to another London club so not much hassle there However, you look at our depth, we've only got Joel Ward there. So Walker Peters is joining. And if you did watch yesterday's episode, you would already know that he was meant to speak with Roy Hodgson. Um, I guess there's a guarantee there in a way that if Walker Peters does join, he will have game time. And I think it works out for everyone involved. As I said, stays in London. If he gets the game time ahead of Joel Ward, which I expect him to, then I think it will work out. For all of us so let's see what happens it seems like it we're edging a bit closer it seems like we're at a process where we're talking about fees and hopefully it's done sooner rather than later so we can just get him under our belts and then move on to the next player final player of the day is jenna dekonom he's a center back for Getafe, and according to the mirror he's attracting interest from palace arsenal tottenham everton and boom now another center back yes i know what you're thinking do we need it i I honestly don't think so as long as we have everyone remaining at the club as it is however just i'm going to put down a link down uh below uh which you can watch his highlights i know it's only highlights and it doesn't show his weaknesses for example but he does look like a good player he actually does look like a very good center back he's only 28 years old but his interception i mean he's on 
he's on page 70 and everyone else is still on an introduction. It's like he's so ahead of the game and and the way he reads the game is just absolutely fantastic. But as I said, these are just highlights, of course. Um, but they aren't short highlights. It's around nine minutes long, so you can watch it there. However, what do you think? Another centre-back? Yes or no? I mean, it doesn't really make sense unless one player decides to leave like that, maybe getting in another replacement, yes, but for now, I just don't think we need another centre-back and should be worrying about other positions. That's it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, you already know, um, if you leave a like down below, that helps massively. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on these daily uploads. And until next time, up the palace.